Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Wyatt. We're here today to settle an old bet, whether or not ABS helps you stop on pavement. We all know that ABS helps you brake more safely, perhaps, and avoids getting into a skid, but does it actually lead to better deceleration overall? What we'll be driving today is this 2020 Toyota Tacoma. We've just done some tests with the ABS both on and off on gravel here at the Rally School. So let's take it to the pavement and see what happens. All right, so 2020 Tacoma Automatic. I'm just in drive, all right foot brake, and basically just three, two, one, go. Slam on the brakes, come to a stop. Once the vehicle hits a full stop, stop. We'll take a look at the time. We'll do it, say, three times with the ABS on, three times with the ABS off, just to get a couple of data points, just so there's maybe no flukes. And I'm on a very deserted back road. I can see clearly behind me for half a mile at least perfectly safe um, and we'll see I'd like to do I believe the speed limit is 50 miles an hour so we'll do 50 to zero accelerating ABS is on that is 50 miles an hour right there three two one stop three point three seven seconds So not bad, you know, aggressive brake pressure, ABS activation, it was interesting to see. It did allow a little bit of wheel lock in the front tires, kind of alternating chirp, 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 uh, which is more brake pressure than I thought it was gonna give me. Turn around and give it another shot. All right, round two, ABS on. There's 50 miles an hour, three, two, one, break. 3.47. Okay, round three, ABS on, holding 50 miles an hour. Three, two, one, go. 3.47. All right, so we learned ABS fuse number one is not the one to pull. If you pull ABS fuse number one, you lose your power brakes and it also feels like it's only got front brake. ABS fuse number two, you still have power brake and they feel more even. That's always something you're gonna find when you pull an ABS fuse because a lot of that brake proportioning, you know, your brake bias is handled by that system too. Uh, some cars are going to be better than others. Uh, and in this case, you know, pulling one fuse is very different than pulling another one. So if you got one of these, ABS fuse number two is the ticket. All right, so ABS off looking for 50 miles an hour. There it is, 50, holding right at 50, three, two, one, stop. Four point one oh. All right, four point one oh with the ABS off there braking, it really feels like you only have front brakes. It doesn't feel like the rear brakes are doing much of anything at all. That's again because that brake bias, brake proportioning is handled through that ABS system. Luckily, we're not out of tricks yet. You could, of course, work on your technique and really try and dial in that threshold brake, but it, with only the front brakes working, you're really fighting a pretty uphill battle. So cheat code for that is to put it in four-wheel drive. Now you're gonna have better four-wheel braking. Even though I'm on pavement, it's fine. We're going in a straight line. I'm not too worried about it. 50 miles an hour. There's 50, three, two, one, stop. 3.25. 
I'm gonna go two wheel drive just to turn around again. You don't want that high steering angle on a high grip surface like pavement. This is a stupid spot to turn around. All right, back in position, wheel straight for high. Pre-collision system maintenance required. Oh, give me four wheel drive. We got four wheel drive. All right, here we go to that 50 miles an hour. There it is, hold there, three, two, one, stop. Two point eight seven. All right, so really interesting experiment. Um, you know, again, just speed limit, open public roads, making sure it's perfectly safe behind us. It would be a lot of fun to get out on a track and try this at some higher speeds uh, with, again, different vehicles. What we saw there with the ABS on, we did three tests and they were all kind of in that mid three second range. Uh, we'll put the numbers kind of on the screen right now for you. As soon as we disconnected the ABS, the first test, what we found was braking was actually worse. Um, the front tires want to lock up really quickly. Uh, the rear brakes are really doing not much for us at all. The reason for that in any modern car, uh, you know, the ABS system, the stability control system, everything is working in unison and really that is controlling that brake distribution for you, your brake bias from front to rear. So when we pulled the ABS fuse in this, we really only had front brakes, uh, which is why the braking performance was so poor. Only did one test in that, it was right in the low four seconds immediately switch to four wheel drive uh, because again, if you've been watching this channel or you've done some driving in the winter time, you know that four wheel drive does improve your braking. That's because it solidly links, you know, the front and rear axles through that drive shaft in the transfer case. Those front tires can't lock up unless those drive shafts and the rear axle locks up too. So once we shifted into four wheel drive, obviously massively better braking. Uh, the first test was that low three second range and the second test broke that three second barrier and we were down in the high two seconds. So again, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, we can get out on a track, we can get up to some higher speeds, we can get some you know, better timing equipment and that sort of thing. But hopefully even just as a very quick test, this is something that you know, anyone could do uh, who has access to a back road with a long safe straightaway on it. The bugs are going nuts out here. Um, if you've got any questions about this or anything else kind of driving dynamics related, feel free to please ask us in the comment section and we'll get to those just as quickly as we can. If you're interested in doing some high speed driving yourself, learning some skid control, maybe doing some drifting, some professional instructors with you, check out teamoneal.com. We've got courses all year round up here at our facility in New Hampshire. Until then, have fun, be safe, and we'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.